Thank you. So I just want to say there are two things I want us to remember from today's presentation. One is that cooling is no longer a luxury because of the high global atmospheric temperatures. We need comfort cooling. And secondly, we must get cooling right. Sustainable cooling is not only about the equipment, but there are a number of factors that must be taken into consideration. And we heard some of them from Viking Engineering. So we must first of all have the policies and regulations in place to avoid or to reduce the need for cooling in buildings. We must set energy policies that supports energy efficiency, minimum energy performance standards, temperature limits in buildings, etc. Those policies must be in place to drive the process. We must also look at increasing the thermal efficiency of buildings from the design, from the orientation, the building envelope. We need to look at cool roofs. We need to look at the airflow in the buildings. So from the design concept, that has to be taken into consideration when we're speaking about sustainable or green cooling. And then we need to look at urban planning, green spaces in our cities, things like district cooling, where we can set up a cooling infrastructure that serves an entire community rather than have individual cooling on every building. So urban planning has to be put in place. Incentives for behavioral changes towards less use of cooling and greater interest in energy efficient cooling. So at what temperatures we set the air conditioners? Do we need air conditioning in some areas? Or do we just want to use air conditioners? How do we get people to make those behavioral changes to adapt to cooling needs? Those have to be in place if we talk in green cooling. And then we have to look at smart investments and technology upgrades. We are aware of the inverters that have really revolutionized energy consumption in ACs. But we also need to look at other things in the air conditioner, the heat exchangers. We need to look at the, the, the micro channels that are used, the type of compressors, etc., to get acceptable levels for energy efficiency in these appliances. And then we also need to look at the new financing and business models. We heard about cooling as a service that is now being offered. We need to get our financial institutions to offer a package that will encourage people to go into energy efficient and sustainable cooling. And of course, we need to train and develop the capacity of our technicians to adequately handle the new and emerging technologies, particularly in regards to safety, in terms of flammability and toxicity of those new refrigerants that have been used. And finally, and maybe even very importantly as well, is the need for public education and awareness that can be used to inform the end users as to the correct choices that are needed to be made in purchasing air conditioning equipment. So it's not just about the air conditioning equipment that has been presented today, but it's a holistic approach taking into account all of those factors I've just mentioned here, from the policy to the public awareness and education that constitute to the package of green cooling.